What's up guys, my name is Ty, and today's video you're going to be seeing Voila! The unboxing of the Xbox Series X So today I've got myself an Xbox Series X and I'm looking forward to opening it and testing it out and see what it's like so but first let's see what the console is like in general with the box now the box looks pretty nice let's see what else is there uh, we got some uh, information about what it does it got HDR uh, 4k FPS stuff like that and one terabyte VRR and also can play 4k blu-rays and if, on the back it says power your dreams and I think what's on the back back is like I think it could be Starfield that's on the back here. Yeah, I thought it'll have something like Master Chief or Halo or something like that because Halo is very popular with the Xbox. And here we have the Xbox Series X on the side, and here it says one terabyte SSD again. And and what's on the bottom? Nothing on the top. Just the Xbox again. And honestly, the design. Uh, just about the look on the design on the box. It looks like it could. Be a good looking console and I heard things about the Xbox Series X and Series S and they're both very different consoles and all the Xbox Series X is, is a more um, square based uh, console and so yeah and the uh, Series X is a little bit more rectangular and so let's unbox it and see what it's like in general right so let's get sorted all right so Voila! Ooh, my! That's a strange looking uh, unboxing here. And I think that's the console in general that's stuck in here. If I could just get it. Oh, and then, ooh, my! I think this might be the console. And it's wrapped up nice and secure. And you can tell it says power your device on the uh, Series X right here. And so, yeah, so that is the console. We'll take a look at that in a minute. Uh, Get rid of these. What else is there? It's a bit more weight on the system. Uh, these are the instructions. We don't need those right now. And I think the rest of the stuff's in here. And I was right. What's in here? Ah, I believe I know what this is. And a cookie, right? Yep, I was right. The Series X controller. And here is a HDMI cable for the uh, for the Series X. And finally the power cable. And some more instructions in here. Uh, yep, these are instructions for the Series X. And, oh, there's something else in here. Ah, batteries for the uh, Xbox controller. <laughs> okay. So, and is there anything else in here? I don't think so. Now, let's unveil the Series X in this thing. issues here but let's see oh my god and here it is look at this beauty just look at it it's like it's a really snazzy looking console this is it's a perfect uh cuboid shaped console and I think it's probably one of the first block like cuboid shaped consoles I've ever seen um, but yeah it's a wonderful looking console and this is definitely the top part of the console 
because like you can see the Xbox logo right here if you can take a look can't really see it on the camera but there is the Series X logo sorry the Xbox logo I'm sorry but overall it does it does look cool uh, I bet the top part would light up when it's turned on but I never owned a, an Xbox One, its previous predecessor. I did own a 360, uh, but never original Xbox. But I'm so glad I managed to get my hands on this. And hopefully one day I'll do a comparison to this and the PlayStation 4. But overall, let's get down to business. Okay, now I have the uh, Series X uh, set up here, and uh, so far I've been playing a lot of um, Xbox games so far. I have a lot of uh, Xbox games right here set up, including uh, Halo Infinite. I've been playing a lot of Halo Infinite lately, and so far I have had a magnificent time on Halo, Halo Infinite. It's such a fun game. And also I have classic Xbox games uh, downloaded here such as Knights of the Old Republic and Republic Commando as well and of course I have Black as well and of course some classic 360 games and other Xbox games downloaded as well both new and old and other stuff as well as you can see stuff such as uh, Black Ops 6 and Cuphead other kinds of stuff as well including Warzone, Final Fantasy, Mad Max and other kinds of magnificent stuff as well. I also have my uh, uh, Twitch account uh, linked up here. It doesn't really show it here as much if I have the right one set up here. Oh, yeah, see so it says I can go live here. And so far, hopefully I might do some live streams on Twitch pretty soon. And everything seems to be going great so far.